Doze off? No. Those pillow marks say different. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. You got me. <laughs> anyway, want to broaden your artistic horizons? Loveless is playing here. And I got us tickets. Sure. After that, we could ride the Skywheel. Right. We missed out on that before. Yeah, but not this time. Let's go. You ready for this? A gondola's here. Well, after you. You first. Uh, Cloud? Think we can steer with this? Worth a try. <laughs> Here goes! Save. <laughs> hey, over there. See that? <laughs> Being a jockey looks so fun. That's definitely not what the races are like. I guess I'll just have to see for myself. They were friends five years ago. What? Not yet. Right. Touchy subject, huh? She must still have feelings for Zack. I think it's a little more complicated than that. It's kind of weird us being here like this, isn't it? Is it? I mean, I guess it is. Kinda. Ever since we left Midgar on this crazy journey, ever since we were kids even, I can't remember a time like this. A time when we were this close. Or am I getting ahead of myself again? Again? Yeah. Again.
Not one bit. We should probably head back to our rooms. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Those are some pillow marks. You must have been out like a light. <sighs> you know, there's a showing of Loveless about to start. And I've got two tickets to it. We should go. Also, the Skywheel's running a special for couples. Limited time only. For couples? As in... I'll leave that up to your imagination. It's more fun that way. What about the others? Forget about them. For now, anyway. Oh. <laughs> Come on. What do you think this does? Wow! This is incredible! Seems nothing like that. Well, you would know. <laughs> it's all so much. Isn't it? surprised me at first. You were just like him, and... It wasn't your face or your clothes. It was you. The way you walked. The way you carried yourself. Whenever I looked at you, I saw him. But you're not him. And that's okay. Because right now, I want to be with you. And I'm trying so hard to find you. 
but I'm right here. Yeah, you are. But... Hey, did Tifa talk to you? About, um... Hey, um, Aerith? I talked to Cloud. He said he remembers Zack. <gasps> How they were friends five years ago. What? I don't think so. At least, not about anything important. Oh. tonight you're welcome but I didn't do anything <laughs> wall market warriors you and me we'll show them tomorrow yeah hey is this a bad time Hey, what's up? Nothing. Couldn't find anyone. Thought they might be here. Just me. Oh. Actually, there's this play I want to see, and would you mind coming with? I already have the tickets, but look at me. There's no way I'm getting in by myself. I got you. You do? Great! gonna drool on the seat. <laughs> Close call. doesn't leave the ride, okay? It might sound crazy, but back in Midgar, Aerith and I could both see the future. Well, that would explain a lot. 
I'm guessing you can't anymore, though? Nope. Not even a bit. Whatever we had, I think the Whispers took it from us when we left. Huh. It seems Arbiters of Fate can do whatever they want. So you told us. Oh, did I? Huh. I wonder if this means we'll eventually forget they even exist. We'd be better off if we did, frankly. There's no point in wasting our time worrying about fate if we can't change it. You're right. Still, there is one thing I need you to remember. You have to keep Aerith safe. Hmm. I mean it, Cloud. I don't remember what's supposed to happen, but I do know she's in danger. on it. <laughs> they are soft. Huh? Nothing. Forget it. Glad that we could speak in private, Cloud. Yeah. You're good company. Thanks. some rest. Yeah, I know. But I'm too excited to sleep. I need to do something to let out all this pent-up energy. Like see a play or ride the sky wheel. That's so. <laughs> Plus, you've been frowning so much I figured you forgot how to smile. That's where I, the amazing Yuffie, come in. For what? Uh, for when the real thing comes around. <laughs> hey, aren't you forgetting someone?
Tifa go way back. Yeah. I also heard she used to have a pretty big crush on you. That's so. Well, not at first. Apparently, even as a kid, you had that weird loner vibe. But then one day, bam! She caught the love bug! Are you into her? Don't remember. Really? Though, I guess that makes sense. Tifa said she was so busy after the move to Midgard that she forgot all about you, too. Don't know what it is about you guys, but I get it. I had a thing for a soldier once. At least I think he was a soldier. I wanted to prove myself, so I hit him with my best moves. <laughs> Was like I was firing energy blasts. After a few salvos, he shouted, You got me! And at the time, I totally bought it. Of course, he was just playing along for a dumb kid. And once I realized that, I was pissed. I couldn't stop thinking about him. I swore to myself that one day I'd blast that jerk for real. Did some hardcore training so I could give him a beatdown. But eventually, it dawned on me. He was just being nice. Like, he was a really nice guy. And the more I thought about it, the more I realized... Wow. I liked him. You know? Maybe it's because of those feelings that I still can't fire energy blasts. I can help. Uh, with the energy blasts? Or my feelings? The former. Feelings ain't my thing. <sighs> I think we both kind of suck in that department. to you. But if it were me, I'd let him have it. Everything okay? They're putting on a production tonight. Loveless. And I happen to have these tickets. I thought it'd be nice to see one of the plays Jesse was in, and I thought you might feel the same. No, you're not busy, so want to come with? Just you and me. Oh, just think of it as one of your jobs, Merc. Fine, but it'll cost you.
worth this. Selfish little boy. If I was gonna win her heart, I had some growing up to do. Otherwise, she'd never give me the time of day. Funny enough, our first date was at a theme park. Nowhere near as big as this place, of course. Just a traveling fair with a handful of rides. Ended up riding these wooden chocobos round and round, laughing our asses off. <laughs> Look at me, boring you with my old stories. Wouldn't be the first time. Don't worry, I'm used to it. <sighs> yeah, well. The lesson here is once you find your soulmate, you never let him go. So, who is it, hmm? Who's what? You know damn well what I'm talking about. Why do you always have to overthink things? That ain't no way to live. You gotta just go for it sometimes. You mean like you do, all the time? Hmm. Touché. could say that we balance each other out. Yeah. <laughs> I mean it, though. If you do have feelings for someone, tell them straight out. Don't wait till it's too late. Right. Yeah. 